everyone, I'm here now with the final part of my 2012 beauty favorites. Uh, my friend Trisha had to go because we were running out of time, uh, so I just kind of wanted to show you some of my favorite. This is going to be lips and nail products of 2012. I have quite a few. Um, I really found a lot of really great new products for 2012 and a uh, nice wide range of drugstore, high end, and uh, just some products that have become staple products. I'm getting them all off my couch here right now. Um, so to start off, let's start off with some lip balm. There are so many lip balms out there and I find the one that I keep going back to that I really love is the Nivea Kiss of Milk and Honey. It's the one in the yellow tube. It is just, it smells great and it, I feel like it really does moisturize my lips and it doesn't just sit in, you know, sit on top of my lips and not do anything. I feel like it really does moisturize them. The other one is the Strawberry Fields um, in the potted jar. I love that too. I get it from Sephora. I think it's, um, I don't remember the name. It's like the rosebud salt, but it's the strawberry flavor. Love that as well. It's really great. You can use it on your cuticles. You can use it on your lips, any dry area. Chapstick favorites. Love those. Now for some lip liners. I have three standout ones for this year. One that I have probably like 10 of these is the East End Snob from Rimmel. It's the perfect everyday nude pinky lip liner. It's so perfect. Really goes with any like mid-tone to light nudie pink lip that you could possibly want to do. It also is at the drugstore so it's super easy, affordable. Easton Snob, love this. Lasts all day. It's really great. Another one, this is a newer find. This is the Too Faced Perfect Lips in uh, Perfect Nude. And I wore this in an Instagram picture with uh, the Too Faced um, centerfold lipstick and a lot of people really loved it. It's just a really great mauve nude. It's not too brown, it's not too pink, it's just a really perfect nude. It's like my lip color. Um, I just love it. It just helps keep your lipstick from transferring or bleeding or feathering or anything like that. And then the other one, this is a newer one, this is Max Lip Liner in Beat. This is a perfect one for any bold lip. I'm wearing Max Rebel today. It's a perfect one for any of those kind of vampy berry pink lips. It's just amazing. I don't know how I didn't have this before, but Beat from MAC is really great. Um, a couple lipsticks that were standout this year. The first being Snob, which is a really nice mid-tone pink color. It's like an everyday pink. I think it just would be flattering on any skin tone. Works really great with this East End Snob lip liner. Just really beautiful. It's kind of one of those lipsticks that you don't have to think about it. It's not too cool of a, like too blue toned or too cool toned. Uh, that it kind of looks like Barbie lips, but um, it's just a really pretty everyday pink, and so that's Max Snob. Another one is Impassioned. Now, when I couldn't get a hold of, I think it was Party Parrot. It's either Party Parrot or Pink Pigeon. One of them is very similar to um, Impassioned from MAC, and when I couldn't get a hold of that, I searched high and low for dupes for it, and Impassioned was the closest. It's a very bright kind of almost a neon corally pink color, absolutely gorgeous, perfect for the summertime. You could definitely deepen it up a little bit with a darker lip liner and kind of transfer it into the fall time. But I love it, it's like my go-to summer bright lip. I would even wear it in the winter, but I absolutely love it. So it's in passion and that's from their permanent line. Another one, this was from the Marilyn Monroe collection and this is Love Goddess. And this is kind of the first lipstick that got me into more of the red tone lipsticks. I've always been such a pink girl, but this is like definitely a kind of pinky red color. Absolutely stunning. I did a photo shoot a few months back and I wore this and I just love the way it looks. Compliments any skin tone. I don't know anyone who would not look good in this color. Absolutely beautiful. I'm working on trying to figure out what a good dupe for this is since I know this was limited edition. Uh, but I seriously, absolutely, hands down, love that color. Another one is Rebel, which is what I'm wearing now. This is my staple go-to fall and winter lipstick. I can't say enough great things about it. Looks scary in the tube, but it's the most perfect, beautiful berry lip. I think it looks stunning on the fairest of skin to dark skin, and just one of those must-have fall lipsticks. I think everyone needs that for their uh, fall-winter collection. And then Lickable. This is also from the Permanent Collection, and I had been eyeing this for so long, and I finally picked it up in uh, one of the recent holiday collections. And it's just a really pretty bright fuchsia color. It's right, right here. Love it. It's beautiful. 
Uh, it's a cooler toned pink, so your teeth look nice and white, and it's just really beautiful. I just, I can't say enough good things about Lickable. I think it's a gorgeous color. Uh, this one is from Kohl's. It's from their Flirt, I think the Flirt line, um, and it's number 19 Ace, and it's their high wattage. I found out about this through my friend Laura or Mrs. Lola Lynn, and again, this is another one that kind of got me into the more red toned lipsticks and it's beautiful it looks gorgeous on the lips again another color that looks good on fair to dark skin tones um, if you have a Kohl's near you I highly recommend going and checking out um, number 19 ace I think you will absolutely love it another lipstick line that was new to me this year were these Tarte Glamazon long wearing lipsticks I have three colors Foxy Playful and Wild love them all I think they're so beautiful they are so long wearing this one is Foxy. It's a nice bright. That would be Ethan. It's a nice bright pink. Also, Playful is a really pretty plummy, like mid tone plum color. And then Wild is their red. And this is so beautiful. I wore this with Cherry Lip Liner from MAC. And my lipstick stayed all day through eating, sleeping, taking a nap, whatever, uh, drinking. It just lasts all day. And the color, the color is very vivid. I find it doesn't bleed, it doesn't transfer. Once it's on there, it's on your lips. So, oh, it's Ethan again. So I highly recommend checking those out. Okay, so we have a special guest. He would love to talk about lip products with us. The so, drugstore had some really great lip products. Look, can you see? Had some great lip products. I no. love the Kissable Balm Stains. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, some of my favorite colors were um, Smitten, I like Smitten, I like to also Love Six, Sweetheart, and Cherish. Beautiful, last all day, feel great on the lips. Uh, the OCC Lip Tars, amazing. Uh, have a whole video on those, I'll link it down below. Strumpet is beautiful, Anime, and uh, Demure. All of these beautiful, last all day, you need just a tiny, tiny bit, and um, you're good to go. And then for lip gloss, I only have one standout lip gloss. It's these Buxom Big Healthy Lipsticks in uh, Creamsicle, White Russian, and Pink Lady. They're very opaque, beautiful on the lips. They have a nice minty taste and they're just really great and he's opening all the lipsticks. So for nail polishes, a couple base coats and top coats I've been loving. The Revlon Color Stay Base Coat, great base coat. Uh, really helps your nail polish stay on all day. Love that. Base coat, top coat is really great. I find that it really keeps my nail polish on all day. It's awesome. Um, some standout colors were... I got really into blues this year, which I never thought I would. Um, we have Essie's Boxer Shorts, which is a nice kind of lilac -y blue. Bikini Sotini, which was a nice periwinkle. And then uh, the Sally Hansen Pacific Blue was really great. Um, a couple pink ones that I loved were... Essie's Lights and Essie's Off the Shoulder. One's kind of a bright neon pink and one's kind of a mid-tone pink. Really pretty. I've been loving those. And then a couple glitter polishes were these two. I found I wore them a lot. A Cut Above and Set in Stones from Essie. Uh, two top coats. Set, uh, the Sesh Feet. No, this is Out the Door. Out the Door. I love this. I love Sesh Feet too, but Out the Door has been really great. Dries really fast. And then the Essie's Mad About You to do a matte nail has been awesome. And then also these orally flash dry drops are great. And then for a cuticle hand cream, this has been a lifesaver. It's the Mane and Tail Hoof Maker. It's meant for horses, but it smells amazing and it seriously will condition your cuticles like nobody's business. I sent um, a big jar full of this to uh, my friend Laura and she said she loves it. So she ordered a big thing too for her and her husband. So anyways, this stuff is great. It's from Straight and Arrow. Main tail hoof maker. So that's all I have for my lips and nails. I hope you guys enjoyed this three part series and enjoyed having my friend Trisha here. It was really fun kind of having someone else to uh, see what her favorites were and just kind of interact with somebody else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you had an amazing, amazing uh, 2012. I hope you had a great Christmas and a happy new year. And I look forward to seeing you guys all more this year. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.